How's it going everybody? My bad here. Coming today with the Sin Cut Sash button lock flipper overview. So this was a knife that I bought at Blade Show. Um, the uh, person who was running the booth uh, really sold me on the Sin Cut name. Of course Sin Cut is the, um, the third tier in the Wii Civivi line. So this is what Civivi used to be. Um, Sin Cut's coming out with some great models, some good looking knives, and, and it's in pretty decent materials with a fair price. And they are Chinese made, and that's the reason why the guy really had to sell me. He had to talk to me, you know, kind of befriend me, do his job, and sell me a knife. I understand that was his job to do that with me, but the guy took his time, talked to me. We talked for like 30, 40 minutes. So I was like, you know what, man, I'll buy a couple of knives off of you. And the Sin Cut Sash and the Bronte was the two knives that I got. Now this knife, after this review, is going to my Uncle Nathan. My Uncle Nathan, before I got off the boat and quit the boat, had a very, very bad car accident from a drunk driver and uh, got hit head on. Um, his wife uh, miss, uh, got a couple of teeth knocked out of her mouth, but my uncle uh, had some organ injuries and, and uh, some other injuries to his pelvis bone that kind of kept him from uh, from doing what he was doing. And while he was moving out of his house, I was also moving out of my house. So I went and I helped him move out of his house before I started moving my stuff. But in that vehicle, I had, he had a knife that I gave him and that was uh, the Kaiser Beg Lighter in the Black Micarta and in 6, 690 still, I believe. I believe it was in 690. It could have been um, the BD-1N. But regardless, he lost the knife in the accident, so he's wanting to get a new knife. And this, the Sin Cut Sash, is what I decided to get him. Now, I already had this knife. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I, 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 I did. I did. I did specifically buy this knife to give to my uncle. I forgot about that. Because I was going to get him a budget knife at Blade Show, and his car accident was before Blade Show. So, I've kind of held on to it for a little too long. You know almost a month and uh, a week so we're gonna go ahead and get this one uh, out I did use the Bronte because I kind of fell in love with the Bronte before I started uh, um, carrying this knife so the past two weeks I've been carrying this one and you just saw me fell a uh, flip the detents actually kind of on point I, I didn't even want switch I just pushed button at that time and that was a failed button because my elbow was on the table but anyways it's a pretty fitchable knife i can reverse flick it of course use the button use the the flipper tab use the button like i said use my thumb slow roll it all that good stuff and it's got great action it's got a pretty de decent detent um the still 19 uh, cr18 mov the non-CR18 MOV, I think I said 19, I did not mean to do that. The non-CR18 MOV, I was wondering if I could do that, and I can, I just need, I'm horrible at doing that one, that's not my best one, I never really practice it because I don't, I don't see the, the reason for it besides the fidget factor, but anyways, the non-CR18 MOV held up in the, the sink cut sash, um, I took this knife, and when we was doing uh, a metal building, the metal sheets come in and they got these thick plastic bands. They're like that wide and they're very, very hard and very, very thick. And I just took this knife and I went under it and I ripped it out. I've cut a many of uh, boxes with this doing uh, construction, getting uh, faucets or whatever I need out of a package. Um, I didn't really take the knife to the woods. It was never in, never really in the woods. I ended up taking a few other knives when I was going out to the woods. Uh, so that's kind of a miss on my bad's part. But doing construction and everything like that, this knife did a fantastic job. I have no doubt that this knife can uh, skin a squirrel. The blade is a little bit thick for that, but it can still be used for that activity. It can definitely do a uh, bigger game like deer or something like that. What it's going to end up doing because this is my uncle's passion is mechanic work so it's going to be doing a lot of unpackaging boxes from amazon or other places such as that um 
the centering is right down the center. Now, I know that me shooting on my phone isn't the best, but trust me, it is down the center. The micarta feels fantastic. It's got nice grip. Once again, it just has that Civivi wind, uh, Wii Sin Cut action. And there's nothing, nothing. I've had one knife from Wii Civivi and Sin Cut that wasn't on point. And I've had a ton of them. And the person that I gave that knife to ended up working the problem out. What I, what I had found out is it had a little bit of lock stick to it. And he ended up working it out where the lock stick wasn't that big of an issue. And that was the S35, uh, S35 VM Blade HQ uh, Elemental. And he still has it and he uses it every day. And he's had it for like a year and a half, two years. So the quality on Syncut Wii Civivi, like I said, there's that old saying, it's a Civivi. Well, they're going to start saying, it's a Syncut. What do you expect? It's just good, and especially for the price. At $45 MSRP, which I don't know how much Blade HQ or anybody else is gonna, gonna um, uh, have this out for, because this is a coming soon knife. This knife isn't even out on the market. I got it at Blade, I'm at, I got it at Blade Show. It was, you know, it was one of the new models. And I'm happy that I did get it, because it's fantastic. My uncle's gonna love it. And when these do come out, this is a highly recommendable knife from My Bad Adventures if you're okay buying Chinese. And there's nothing wrong with this knife, at least the one that I got. And it's it's a typical My Bad Adventure knife. The Bronte is when I stepped outside the box and I found out that I loved it, just like the Penguin made me fall in love. It's just this this tried and true this drop point spear point whatever you want to call that clip point because it's got that little sledge right there this design is forever going to work now i'm going to gripe about this because it's the only thing that i can ever gripe about a civivi or a sin cut and this is even worse on the sin cut than the uh, civivis they still have this stupid freaking pocket clip and I'm okay with the stupid pocket clip on a sin cut, but stop putting them on a Civivi. The bad part about the, that what they did with the sin cut that they don't do with the Civivis, most Civivis are recessed. And if you can't see that, that pocket clip on the inside where the screws connect is not recessed. The Civivis are most generally recessed, but this one's not. I can't stand this pocket clip, but for a $45 knife, I don't have a problem with it. 9CR18MOV uh, 18, 18 is in my top five favorite budget stills. I'm a huge Micarta fan. I love Micarta. Highly recommend this knife once again. Uncle's going to love it. Y'all have a good one. That being at the end of this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment on my bad videos. Tell all my bad what you'd like to see. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.